And I guess I'd like to talk for a few minutes about the differences between Apollo 11 and 12. We uh, always had in our mission directive uh, the statement to attempt a uh, accuracy type landing, to work on the procedures for an accuracy type landing. And I guess just about the time that uh, Apollo 11 landed or shortly before, uh, the people that pick the targets and select sites up in Washington decided that along with our accuracy landing, that rather than just say we'd try and land next to Crater X, that we'd try and land next to something where if we do achieve that type landing, we could uh, bring back some bonus type uh, information and materials. So they selected the Surveyor 3 site as our target. And ever since Levin landed, we have spent a great deal of time in working on the procedures, both looking at the data from Apollo 11 and working on the procedures to achieve this accuracy landing. Now, I guess most of you are familiar with where the errors came from as we know them today in, in uh, Apollo 11. We had the water boiler on the LEM, which was producing some thrust. And as you know, we come up with the state vectors and the landing site targeting based on tracking through revs about 10 and 11. And uh, they assume that nothing happens to the vehicles on the uh, 12th and 13th revs, although they track them, they don't have the time to process all the data. So we, first thing we've done, and we still don't have all the analysis back, is to uh, maneuver the command module and LEM combination with balanced couples on the command module, which we didn't do on Apollo 11 because of thermal constraints of the command module thruster impinging on both the rendezvous radar and the LEM S-band antenna. We still do not have the answer yet from the engineers whether we can maneuver with the balanced couples or not. And if the thermal analysis shows that we can, we will. And that's one step in eliminating this down track error. 